Put that up. Yeah, there were a lot of changes. The main thing I'm interested in seeing right now. Oh, I'm in a circle. Oh, let me fix my camera. The song I do when I. There we go. Oh, yeah, my camera's in a weird spot. Hold on. Oh, and my game is fucking muted. There we go. I remember how to stream. We're getting there. I remember what streaming like. I think this seems right. That seems to be about where I used to be. <laughs> nice, Dave. Yeah, a lot of a lot of buffs around the board on classes, it looks like. Uh we turn synergy Ooh. Rogue is not getting shimmered anymore. Like you, stealth actually works. I think they kept the creep nerf in, but like that's understandable, I guess. Big changes to high roller though. Like high roller anti is free now. Yeah, the patch notes were pretty in-depth on this one. It's a very lengthy patch note. Alright, so I do have a lot of money. I think I am just going to make a loadout. I'll see what I have in terms of... Uh, like, We'll see what we have in inventory first, then we'll just go buy some stuff. Let's see where I'm at too with the quest log. <coughs> kill skeleton axemen, kill skeleton macemen. Demon berserkers, demon centaurs. Okay. Let's see, anything decent here? It's not very good. That's trousers. None of this stuff is for me. Pretty good longbow. Not great on those. Take the physical damage cloak. Bigger agility, physical damage reduction on the wolf hunter leggings. I mean, I'm never going to use them otherwise, probably. Might as well throw them on. <laughs> yeah, I'm new to streaming. This is new for me. I'll put those boots on. Uh, let's see. I have a lock pick. Let me move these items out of these slots. Let's go to the Squire. Let me go to the Squire. Oh, I get to start with white fucking long swords now. That's so nice on my default gear. That's really nice. Not doing it right now, but it's still really nice. Actually, let me... Campfire, the potions. Alright, what else we got in the stash? No good jewelry by the look of it. Some jewelry down there. Now I've just been dumping stuff into here. So there could be good stuff in here. Ugh, to like look through it all though. <laughs> Uh, max health, max health bonus. Physical healing. Eh, the physical healing part of it kind of sucks, but that's like not terrible. Or just a thing to wear. Uh, I think it's survival. Eh, not good. At least not for this class. Max health, max health bonus, and armor pen. Yeah, why not? Seems good. Don't think I have any good rings. That's where I'm like lacking right now. I don't think I have good jewelry. I got some stuff, but I don't think any of it's for this class. Right? Man, really hurting on rings. What kind of ring we got here? Buff duration bonus. Ugh. Additional magical damage. Those are vigor. Not great. I guess I gotta go buy some fucking rings. I hate that though. But I'm willing to do it. Slot. Ring. Static attribute. 
Strength. Random attribute. Uh, let's say, uh, hmm. Max health. Damn, people really be charging for rings. God damn. Armor pen? That's a little better. Oh, you know. Gotta spend it on something, right? Okay. Let's put these rings we just got on. Oh, we gotta go buy, like, pretty much everything, I think. Actually, let's... We didn't look through the rest of the armor, I don't think. Did I? Yeah, there ain't... There really ain't shit. <laughs> got some helmets. Uh, physical power, magical power. This one's just... Armor pen buff duration bonus. Why not? Yep. Yeah, there's also, I mean, the gear score stuff. It, you get you get mostly people who just want to be like PvP junkies with gear that aren't in high roller. Oh, let's go. Blowback's so good. I'm glad you like it. I really feel like it is, uh, it's gotta be my favorite one right now. My favorite pod. Not your epic longsword's going for 350. Yeah, why not? Fuck it. It's actually not that bad. Alright, let's reset that and that. So we are gonna look for, uh, some plate. We'll do chests first. And, you know, I'll set it to epic. How much are epic chest pieces? Like, they cost nothing. That's amazing. And I need some... Uh, no, we don't need feet. We need hands, though. We do need hands. <laughs> we don't have any. <clears throat> are there any attributes on these I like? Physical damage bonus on that one. I was gonna get insta wiped, which is gonna be funny. <laughs> I already got legs. Alright, what we got? Bam, bam, bam. It's everything, I think. That's our little man. Here's my my handsome man. It's Frost Mountain solo, high roller. Uh, I could fuck with it, probably. I do gotta kill some frost guys. You're going to go on an extremely dangerous high roll, though, dear. <laughs> Hi, Cat. Good morning. Yo, what's up, Bob? How you doing? What's up? What's up? How's it going, folks? How's it going? How's it going? So bad on Frost Mountain. I'm not great with Frost Mountain. Bobby looking pretty empty to start. I'm gonna sit behind the bar. Hey. Zombie Papacy. Happy 61 months. Hello. Hey. <laughs> What's up? Oh god. Oh yeah. I I uh I will say the the ripoff of this game seems to be the one that is most popular right now. I'm gonna have to, I think, just by like sheer force of people telling me I need to. I think I have to check out Dungeonborn. Not that I want to like switch to it, but it's probably worth a look. It's probably worth a look. People seem to really like it, but I really like this one. Like, I feel like all the things people tell me they like about Dungeonborn. Are the opposite of things I like about this game, you know? Like some people are like, "Oh, it's not as clunky or janky," and I'm like, eh, "I kind of like the clunk and the jank." <laughs> like, yeah, I love this game. It's and like I don't, you know, there's no part of me that wants to quit this because I'm still having fun with it. But the other game also seems like it's probably a, at the very least, I could do zany shit probably. 
it's much harder to do thievery right now in dark and darker because like the player base getting better deeper in a wipe they keep nerfing fucking rogue shit it is definitely more arcadey like i think they even have a straight up you can just like queue for deathmatch you just get in and start fighting no looting or anything i played it in beta and didn't like it i was like oh it's just dark and darker but not very good <laughs> i don't know yes i like a grindy game too i like a punishing game that's why i like this same with tarkov I like when I feel like the game's working against me, you know? I like that out of a game. I think that's why I like a Souls game. And that's why I like the uh, like the rage platformers and shit. And games like Stilt Fella. I don't know. I, I like a game that's working against me. I think it's the only area in life where I'm like masochistic. I don't <laughs> I don't enjoy pain. I don't like when people treat me poorly. There's so many things I dislike, but I absolutely love when a game fucking sucks and it's hard. That was so embarrassing. So I didn't play the, uh, so it's funny, the stretcher game. Uh, fucking Ryan linked me it, Northern Lion. And he was like, dude, we gotta send this. And I was like, oh my God, this looks amazing. And then when I clicked through, I was like, it's fucking single player. And he was like, you gotta be kidding me. And I was like, nah, man, it is a single player game. And as much as I like a rage game, I was like, eh, I don't know. Like, I'm all for goofing around on asset flippers. I like an asset flip game every here and there. But the fact that it was solo, I was not happy. Elden Ring stream. I would do it. If people really wanted it, I would do it. If people were frothing at the mouth for Justin playing Elden Ring. I'd do that shit in a heartbeat. I think I'm hearing the goblin below me trying to shoot me. Ah, you freak, you scared me. You put fear in me. <clears throat> Justin Sekiro would be fucking cool. Nah, I, I, I think, I think I would have fun with it. I am a parry guy, though. Is there not a lot of parry in Sekiro? I love parry. I think that's why I liked Bloodborne as much as I did. Like, I thought Bloodborne just kind of rocked. Hey, hey, I have a quick question. Do you like the art of her post from Megan? If so, what cards? Ooh. Oh, Lorini. Uh, I don't know if I'm familiar. Oh, let me go look. I'm not good at, uh, remembering who did what. Oh, they did Unmask? That's an RK Post card? That's so good. Unmask is such a good card. Okay, I remember who RK Post is now. Selling signed cards. Oh, shit. For real? That's actually pretty sick. Damn, I have a, uh, I have a foil retro frame on mask. <laughs> and if I had it there, I would have them sign it. <coughs> nice, nice. Was there any, uh, was there any luck with the wizard stuff? Or, like, with the secret layer stuff? I'm assuming that stuff sells out, like, nanosec. What the fuck's a silver skull token? Hello? <laughs> Is that new? Is that something they added? Hello? I would like to go do the pyramid room because it's good loots. It's good eats. But I might get in a kerfuffle. And I'm not like one to really shy away from a kerfuffle. But this is also the first game of the day. Also, my frame rate's fucked. Let's find out why. Are there extra chrome tabs? No. Synergy is off. Let me speak to the task manager. That's Thunderstore. What's happening? You should not be open. Get the fuck off. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here, Thunderstore. What's blasting my CPU so bad? It's just a... Alright, how's that 100% though if we're at like 20, 20... I'm gonna 
lose my mind. I can't believe I opened Thunderstore. Can you fucking fuck all the way off, Overwolf? All that shit. Thank you. Okay. Why CPU so mad? I feel like these numbers still aren't adding up in my head. Also, why is a single Chrome tab this much Chrome? Hello? You know what? We'll just restart Chrome. Completely. Still 80% though, 70, 70, 60. I think it shouldn't be that high. You know, what if I just leave Chrome? Oh, it's so nice. I'm just leaving Chrome closed. Fuck that. <laughs> I'll just keep Chatterino up on the side monitor. Hi, chat. You know what I want to do as part of a... Uh, my whole computer, my whole tech rebuild week, which is what I'll call it. For tech rebuild week, I want to uh, reduce the amount of monitors I use. Oh, yeah, yeah. And if not, Rini, genuinely, it's fine. I don't want anyone to get, like, super put out for it. That said, though, if someone does want to get online and they want to get themselves something, I like I'll happily cover it if they take the time. You know, like I, I, don't, I, I would be happy to make it worth whoever's time that does it. You know, I'll pay for a lunch, something. <laughs> I'll do anything. Someone killed all this. <laughs> I was gonna not mess with whoever's in there. Brahm answer. Happy eleven months. Thank you. You freak, what is that? That's a thing you do? Real freak behavior. You freak. I can't believe I parry an arrow though, that was kinda sick. I'm just going to do this now. Campfires go down quicker now. That was part of the patch. That's so nice. Look at how fast that is. Next year, I would love to go. I would love to go. You wind up seeing no at all? I'm assuming he's just buzzing around a con like that. It should be that every time you place a campfire, you get a 1% a increase in uh, building a campfire speed, so you get better at it over time. <laughs> and eventually you become a master. Not 1%, like 0.1%. The absolute lowest amount. I love, so that's like, that's what made me fall in love with Ultima Online, initially. I love a game where your skill gain is based on you using the skills, you know? Even if you're just fucking faking it and like, just fucking like hitting the same fucking sheet for 10 hours. All the same, I like that. And I loved that UO was that kind of game. And like, in UO, so the whole thing with UO was, you could have 700 skill points total. And if you had 100 and something, that was maximum, and you were considered a grand master of it. So most people would just GM seven things. But if you wanted to do something else, you could just turn the skill down in something else, and turn the skill up in a different thing. So like, like, I definitely had a point where I was uh, a swordsman, and I wanted to do fencing instead, so I just turned swords down, fencing up, and just sat there fencing monsters for fucking a few days. And eventually I was a grandmaster in fencing, and zero skill in swordsmanship. Eight by eighting on a boat? Yep. I don't know if any of you were Siege Perilous players, but that was a unique server, in that the skill gain was harder. So on Siege Perilous, you could only get a skill gain every, like, I think it was 20 minutes, you'd get a point one, and you could only get, I think, point eight a day. Like, it was real fucking tough. Oh, once you got to a certain point. I think once you got past 70 is when it hit a crawl. But there were server lines in UO, like literal lines. And uh, if you hopped a server line, so you would get a skill gain, hop the server line, get immediate second skill gain because the server hadn't caught up yet. You hop to the next, you hop over again, another skill game. But you'd still be capped to your, like, whatever a day. 
but you could get all your skill gains done in like 20 minutes instead of over the course of a fucking whole day. So everyone would do the server line shit during power hour. I think it was like there was an hour a day where skill gain was increased to something like that. So everyone would go fucking bananas on power hour. But even with power hour, or this, or this might have been added over time. It, the, I loved the hard, it was the hardcore server. There was also no blessed items on that server. Over time, they added that you could have one, but if you died, people could take everything. It was so fun. It was a just, it was the cutthroat. Oh, I miss it. That's why I like a game. I love a cutthroat game. Anyway, this is why I'm poisoned by PvP. This is why I can't enjoy games anymore. You know, they don't make MMOs like that anymore, and so I hate everything. <laughs> I've become the cynical gamer. And by be I've become the cynical gamer, I mean I've been the cynical gamer for like fucking 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> Streaming saved me though. Streaming is what made me like gaming again. I wasn't doing as much gaming, and the only gaming I was doing was with friends, which was fun. And then I was like, oh, I could stream my games, and it feels like I'm just hanging out with my friends. That's cool. And uh, and then like over time, my stream actually started getting traction, and I was like, this is fucked up. <laughs> I wasn't trying to do this, and it happened. And that's nice. I think that's part of why it happened. I think there is a... I don't know if it's like a charm or what. I don't know how to put it. And also, I'm not trying to sit here like fucking blowing smoke into my own ass. But, uh... I think there is like... A, that's all dead, huh? I think there is a bit of a charm to like... not trying to make it happen like i think people catch on like oh you're just doing it for fun for the love of the game and i think that's just i think i don't know i think people like that yeah <laughs> it's a weird it it does feel like a a joke timeline it's like a, a prank timeline in like a positive way Ooh. hold on Seriously? A locked chest and there's a fucking green wizard hat in it in high roller? <laughs> Lose my mind. What the hell? What the fuck? Fuck you. Justin sucks. The hell? I don't think that's real footsteps. I'm going to leave now. Uh. What was I gonna say? Someone's gotta be going to ice hell, right? Let's just go see. Ooh, shocking amount of people alive, and by that I mean three. A rogue. Anyway, uh. <clears throat> oh, those were good times. That's still my Ubisoft name. <laughs> it will always be my Ubisoft name forever. I'll, I'll never forget too when I was, uh, Ubisoft was working with me on a project. They're one of the few devs who would like kind of consistently reach out for stuff. And like they still do here and there, which is kind of nice. It's just nice to know there's devs out there who will hit me up. But anyway, the first time I was doing something for them for an online game, I remember, like, my point of contact being like, all right, what's your, uh, what is your, uh, like, you play account name, uh, if it is different from your streamer name? And I replied, like, okay, listen, is it okay that my username is bestboy2016? I can explain if I need to. And they went, no, that's fine. <laughs> and it's just, that was it. They didn't want the explanation. And also, they didn't care, so... <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a name. It just keeps getting better. Great name. It's pretty self-explanatory, I guess. God, what's funny is like, what? It's twenty. Figure by like twenty thirty-two people are going to start thinking that's like a child gaming, you know?
they're gonna think that's like a 16 year old gaming Maybe even like a few years sooner. But yeah, eventually it will cross the threshold where people are go, going, oh no, this is like a 12-year-old. <laughs> and I think that's also kind of funny. All right, let's let's do, this is the, uh, this is the dumping page. I have to sell all the shit in here at some point. I keep saying I'm going to do this, and, uh, and then I just don't. <laughs> but you know, at some point, we will. This money shouldn't be in here. It should be in here. Okay the dumping page <laughs> I, I just become a squeaker that's what I'll do I'll change my whole twitch persona Sorry, this is the part of the stream where I just see that all my friends are talking in Magic Discord, and then I have to go talk to my friends in Magic Discord. <laughs> Sorry, I, uh, I did have Chrome closed. Let me, uh, let me get Chrome open again and see if my shit will stop freaking out. Because I do want to just look a few things up. One second. One second, please. Sorry, I'm, uh, Rini, I don't know if Rini's still listening, but Rini was talking about being able to get signed RK postcards. Magic sidebar over. <laughs> I'm back. Hi. I, I've I've sent my messages. Let's see. I am gonna do some magic drafting soon. 
I'm going to do some uh, more Bloomboro draft. I'm having a good time with it. Where is Yes, we have a token. Hello, Samplots. What's up? Yeah, I'm going to take... Hmm. I'm going to take the helmet. I want a nice hat. Wasn't great. <laughs> Rolled not great stats. You hate to see it. Goblin? Yeah, give me a ring. Is it a good ring? Not half bad, honestly. I will uh, stash that away. Also, some plate clothes. Garbage. Okay. Sorry, just like to do a little goblin gamble here and there. Less than a minute, goblin high roller. I don't think I have to do anything there. I'm so excited to build. Oh, fuck me. So another thing we're going to do today, chat, whenever it gets here, once I'm playing magic, my secret layers get here today and my singles get here today. I have like a hundred singles showing up. I'm so excited. I'm very psyched for the next set. Duskmorn. I'm fucking I'm hyped for Duskmorn. I'm just waiting for that to go to there. There we go. Let's get in there. Burn. Yep, 100 hot singles in my area. Good morning, Sinkies. Good morning. Secret layer, which one? Monty Python. I got the Monty Python secret layers. And I also got uh, the brain dead lands. I really liked the lands. Can I even make it worse for you, Zen Koala? I've never gotten a secret layer. Uh, I The night before, because I saw people talking about it, I went to the Secret Lair website, and it was just like, give us your email address. And I was like, oh, I guess they email you a link or something. So I did that. Then I'm looking at my friends talking in Discord about queue lines, and I was like, what the fuck are you all talking about? And they were like, you have to get go to the website and get in a queue. And I was like, ah, fuck. I was like, well, it's late, but I'll try. I got in the queue. An hour and ten minutes later, I get through the queue, and I bought the fucking Monty Python cards. <laughs> and then when I refreshed the page, because I was like, I should buy the non-foils, too. They were all sold out. So, I, I'm certain I got the last of them. Not Probably not the last, last one, but like, I was there in the last seconds for sure. Thank you, thank you. I was going to get the whole, oh, and I also got the uh, Bloomboro ones. Whatever the Bloomboro ones were, I got. I should have gotten the foil and the non-foil. Honestly, I was just getting the Monty Python stuff for myself. I'm a fan of Monty Python. I'm a sucker for Holy Grail. Uh... But I'm also told that they have already doubled in value. <laughs> I don't even have them yet. Yeah, I got. I think I got only foils for everything. I should have done foil and non. But that's it's my very first secret layer. I'm so excited for the Final Fantasy boxes, Dave. I feel like. Uh, I'm just, I'm just so psyched. I'm so psyched. And when, when I do get them, I will 100%. You just give me a list of like your most wanteds. All right, you'll be there when I'm opening it. 100%. I, I will, I will work that around your schedule. You know. But uh, there's gonna be next year, Rebel. I think early next year. Absolutely, but oh, it's gonna be so good. I'm so psyched for that. I feel like, I mean, they are really, I'm not trying to really, you know, far be it for me to be like, they're making so much money, it's good for them. <laughs> but, like, I feel like they are kind of killing it right now, right? Like, Modern Horizons was really good. People, oh, what the fuck? Did they, like, change that? Why, why no? Okay, I'm 100% not blocking that anymore. And I do not like Oh, I'm so pissed and fucked, maybe. I thought it was a fucking rat on me, and I was like, Oh no! <laughs> Why is this druid... biting me? I'll fucking walk away, man. I'll, I'm a, I'll be the bigger person here and just leave, you know? I can't see anything and I forgot my fucking torch. I didn't bring a torch. I 
gonna bring a goddamn torch. Hey, yep. I'm looking forward to the not core core set that's coming out in November, October, November. That's the thing. Like, I'm very psyched for Duskmorn. I feel like every set for the rest of the year I'm excited about. So that's cool. Isn't the Marvel set hitting? Either like end of this year or early next year. Not that I'm a big Marvel guy, but I think that will uh, go fucking crazy. Why is that? Why are you not an expanded guy? That, you know what? <laughs> that, that would definitely do it. That definitely do part of it. It's weird. It's funny. I was never a, uh, I was never a, I keep forgetting I don't have a fucking torch. I keep going to hit three to do a torch and I just start cycling potions like a, like a fool. And everyone in the dungeon is laughing at me. I need you to blow yourself up, sir. We clanked big time. Yo, clank was... That was so fun. <laughs> like, I need to play more of that. Like, immediately following that ending, I instantly went to Discord and I was like, whenever you want to play that again, please tell me. <laughs> I will be there immediately. And, like, that was kind of the consensus from everyone, I think. Everyone really had a good time with it. Ah, shit rocked. Yo, it's real dark. They should call this game, uh, fucking... Uh, you can't see shit. <laughs> it's a more apt title. I think. I've talked to Ryan about magic. I do think there's a world where Ryan would play a game of magic someday, but I don't think that day is, uh, is anytime soon. <laughs> oh, that's so sick. I love that. Anything over here? No chest. Really can't see. No, I, I straight up believe him when he says, like, no, I, I would 100% be playing with y'all if I had, like, an iota of free time for that kind of thing. I'm like, nah, yeah, I, I believe you. <laughs> I really do. I got more people showing interest, which is really cool. The, uh, the amalgamation of folks who are playing is very, like, neat. A lot of different groups of friends. Someone took the wraith away. Jesus, freak. Oh, fucker, I'm so dead. <laughs> they got the shit out of me. I don't know how to parry that fucking uh, polar. I gotta see it. A bardiche? The reaches is so good. Oh, fuck. It makes me want to play a barbarian. It makes me want to play barbarian so bad. I will never call it that. Oh, damn. That, that would get you a lot of money. That would get you an awful lot of money. That is fair. Oh, I have to... So I've been keeping... No, I trust myself. I am the type of person where, like, I have to set an alert on my phone that's like, take your pills, and then I take them, and then I mark it complete. Because if I don't mark it complete, I will see it later and go, like... Well, I have, it says take them, so I have to, even though I think I took them, but maybe I didn't. Maybe I'm misremembering it. I'm so certain I took them and just didn't mark it today. I'm, I try to be so good about marking it. I don't know why I don't do good with the box. 
I have to go back to trying the pillbox. It's been a long time. My problem is my pillbox would look exactly like my little tiny battery box. I can't take that chance. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't realize how obscenely thirsty I was. Oh my lord. Uh, what's a guy to do? I know it has only been like an hour of dark and darker, but god damn do I want to just do my fucking magic trap. Not yet, though. I can't yet. I need more than one person screaming it in all caps. <laughs> uh, it's not to say that other people do that. I will I'll simply make you leave. <laughs> uh, I wish it was Goblin Caves. I do want to see what they did to Rogue. I just have to take a quick look. Where's my areas? I take a quick look. Yeah, they cycle every three minutes. So what they do? This just reduces the volume significantly, but that's it. It's no longer silent, you know? I think double jump. I think it's double jumps time to shine. I am a pickpocket. Okay. Let me just give it a shot or two. I also really want to do some geo guess here today. I got the geo sickness. Not the rafter room isn't uh it's so far out of the way now that no one goes there. I haven't run double jump in a long time because it nerfs your move speed, but so it nerfs your move speed by negative 10 now. It used to be negative 18. So they made it almost half better. <laughs> 10 movement speed, you can kind of make up with like boots and stuff, though. Like, I, I feel like it shouldn't be the end of the world. And the double jump, I think, will just let me get more places. Like, I, I have to look. I haven't really looked Goblin Caves because double jump's been dead for so long. There are some funny spots you can get to without double jump. So surely there's got to be some funny st spots you can get to with it. Like, I could probably get up the other elevators, you know? I don't think I'm... I don't think I have to hard commit to the one. Oh my god, it feels so good to have you back, double jump. <laughs> it feels so good to have double jump back, y'all. Oh my god. Oh, it feels so nice. Let me get my map up. I don't have fucking Chrome open. Google Chrome! Dark and darker map. Goblin Cave. Hide modules, deselect all. Alright. I am there. I just gotta go left one, down one. Oh, I just gotta go left two. Pardon me. Excuse me. Dude, it feels so good to have double jump back. Oh my lord, it feels so good. I have a long way. Oh no. Oh, don't mind me, I'm silly. I'm so sad I let them hit me. It's funny because this is the one that you could normally jump up anyway. I wonder if I could do it without calling the elevator, you know? I do have to kill that quick though. Check. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna see. Uh, I got to start trying to plan weekend commander games slightly in advance because that was one of those like this morning I just like threw out to the group chat like, "Hey, y'all, I would play commander by the way, <laughs> if anyone wants to." 
But that's like a just early to float a message out. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, you don't need to call the elevator with double jump. That's actually really nice. That goblin's gonna give me away though eventually. So, all right, here's the thing though. I am on duos and it is low gear score. Uh, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do is pop this potion, get some health. I'm really looking forward to some Bloom Burrow draft today. We're gonna do that in about like, I don't know. Depends how these thieving runs go, but probably in about like 20, 30 minutes. I really wanna get some Bloom Burrow drafts in. I've only done two. <laughs> I need to do more. No, I've got pickpocketing, so it hides uh hides items on belt, which is nice. They they rolled those into one perk. Yeah, Bloomberg is a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. I should maybe try well well no, so they changed high roller now. You need to have two twenty five gear score to get into high roller. You can't get in the high roller. They did. They rolled back. So the nerf rogue, the rogue nerf they did was that they made it that rogues didn't go fully invisible. And they made it that creep uh, made, made instead of being totally silent, it made some noise. They removed the whole shimmering thing. You now stealth the way you always did. Uh, but creep is still noisy now. So I simply got rid of creep and put double jump back. And I think that's the way. I think that's the stuff. There we go. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna get anyone here. I also kinda wanna go see if anyone's doing the boss fights. That's, I think that's what people do when they queue duos on this map, is they go to try to do the bosses. Also, this is gonna be a bit of an exploring round, because we wanna see, I, I, I wanna see what's up. I want to see what all this, uh, I, I want to like go to both boss rooms and also see what the jumps are like. I want to see if there's anywhere weird I can go. We'll check this one first. No one came through this way yet. I think I heard. Is that my own feet? Check the other boss room. But yeah, high roller now. You can't queue high roller under, I think it's 225 gear score, maybe. And they're doing that so people stop just going in the high roller naked. <laughs> you know, trying to farm good loot with no risk. And I do think that is a smart change. Like, even though I'm the guy who likes to do things like that, I think that is a good idea.
<laughs> my rogue has pickpocket. You can't see my potions. I had to make that like an auto reply. <laughs> Ah, the potions. That's right, the potions. They just leave? I think they're fighting another team is what was happening. Hey, prick. Oh, someone died. Creep is nerfed still, but stealth is back to being good. I don't think about anything I care about. Wow, you could do this. <laughs> I was just kind of hoping. All right. Yeah, no, having double jump back's nice, I think. My stealth is back. Ooh. Come on, come on and jump up. Oh, I think they saw me do it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Am I having issues with Longsword Parry after patch? It genuinely fucking felt like it, yeah. I figured I was just rusty. It did feel this way. I did parry an arrow shot, that is true. That is, that is absolutely true. Right, let's try to go trio caves. How my gear score 45? What the fuck's all this? I escaped. <laughs> Don't mind me, folks. We're fine. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Pardon me. Ah, oh, god damn it's Forgotten Castle. I don't want to play fucking Forgotten Castle. Blech. Blech. I don't want to play fucking... I don't like Thief on Forgotten Castle. It's boring. No one's going to be here either. <laughs> it's okay. I had no gear. I think I am five minute bands now, though. Right? 
pretty sure that's the case. Well, I don't want to do that. It's fine. The Crips does kind of blow this wipe. Honestly? And I apologize for folks who don't care about magic on any level. It's probably the right time for me to do my magic draft. 